Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll continue talking about the survey that I created in my previous demo. And now I'm going to go in and respond to this survey. And the first question, uh, the only question I see since I did some branching after that, was how often do you read your, uh, ride your contos or bike? And I'm going to say now and then. And then next, the save and close lets me come back to this and do it later. But uh, here's my the final two questions. So I like the comfort, it's average, it's a bike. And the speed is okay too, and the price is okay too. So I think the uh, next one should be called the Glider Master. And then I finish that. All right, then I have one response. Then I'm gonna log in as, um, start Chrome here, and I log in as Antonio, and go to the home page there, and there's my uh, bikes survey and he's going to respond to and he writes the bike never and when I click on next then you'll notice that he goes to the last question and doesn't get the question about how does he like his bike because he never writes it. Antonio thinks it should be called racing kin. Then I finish and there I have two responses in my survey. Now to read the results of my survey I have two options either I go on actions here and export to a spreadsheet, that's of course Excel, and view it on RSS feed, or I can get uh, alerts when items change here. Th those are uh, more than two options, but lots of options here, but the reviewing options are exporting to spreadsheet and showing a um, graphical summary of responses here. And there you see that I get 50% ride the bike now and then, 50% ride them never, and 100% feel that the comfort is average, and so on. And the more question you have, the more relevant and the more answers you have, the more interesting this will be to you. Anyway, I'm going to show you the export to um, Excel also. So I go back. I can't do it from here, from the graphical thing I have to do here, and export to spreadsheet. And let's do that from Internet Explorer instead. Works much better there. Export to spreadsheet. And that's the same thing as exporting a list to SharePoint. You get an external data range in Excel. So the beauty of that is, of course, that this is uh, connected, it's not a one-time export. Next time when more people have responded to this question, you can just refresh. So if you do some analysis, some Excel-based analysis or some graphs or something based on this in Excel, you can just save that Excel file and then refresh the file and you'll see the latest responses in Excel. So that's rather beautiful. That concludes the demo on how to use the survey. Thank you for watching.